Hello gorgeous and welcome to the Witch's Oracle. My name is Nina and I am going to be doing a Leo reading for today. <clears throat> and here's why. I know I've been doing a lot of Leo readings, but today is um, February 22nd, 2022. Two, 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 two. So 22 is a star seed number, which means patience upon patience is intuition. So 22 plus 2 plus two, plus two, 28. Patience and manifestation, which is 10, which is karma. So I've already done Capricorn, which is a 10. I did their reading today. I also did a sample reading for a deck review that I did for the Witch's Tarot and that I just got today. And since I just got these absolutely glorious, amazing tarot cards in today, I did a personal tarot reading for someone that reached out to me online who I've never met before. Her name is Jamie. She gifted me these unbelievable cards that I'm obsessed with. And I just got them today, so I can't wait to use them. And since I'm obsessed with bees, she got me this bee. Oh, you guys, look. How do I do this? Look at this bee. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. I love bling. And I love bees because in nature, they're the most important thing in the whole world. Without bees, we have no plants. We have no flowers. We have no pollination. They're amazing. Okay. So I love bees. So that bee has a home and that bee lives on that plant right there. That's its new home. Can everyone see that? Nope, because my camera doesn't want to focus. Come on, camera. Focus. It's now stuck in this, I'm right here mode. Okay, well, this, there we go. And she sent me this deck, which is unbelievable. I'm obsessed with it. And look at, it is from Switzerland. Now I'm Swedish Norwegian. So Sweden, Switzerland, Norwegian, you know, um, Norway, you know, that whole thing. So I think that's the coolest thing. And your first tarot gift is supposed to be gifted to you. And I didn't have anyone to gift me once so I had to buy my own. So this is my first gifted deck. You guys look at it. It is gorgeous. Look how pretty. This deck is perfection. It's in mint, it's condition. Like, look, it's just gorgeous. Look at how beautiful this deck is. And it's in another language. So I get to learn another language as well as do tarot, which is the coolest thing ever. I'm so excited about this. And I like can't wait. And she actually used this deck. She like read tarot with this deck. So all her vibes and all her mojo is in here. Oh, I'm so excited. Jamie, thank you. This was the sweetest thing. I mean, look at that. Look at that. I love this. I love this. I'm just, oh, I'm so excited. The sweetest, nicest gift ever. So Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jamie. I'm so glad you enjoyed your reading. It was a blessing and an honor to do it. That was a, a really intense reading. I loved it. Okay, so if you guys want a reading, all your information is right here. And as I'm talking and doing cards, you can read this. And all you have to do to get a free reading is like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you don't subscribe to my channel, I'm not going to do a free reading. That's all I ask. It's a full hour. Most people charge over $100 to $120 for a full hour read. So it's a really good deal. And it is 100% free. <clears throat> We're going to video chat just like right now. And you'll be talking to me, I'll be talking to you, and I'm going to be doing your cards, and you're going to watch the cards, and we're going to talk back and forth. So it's like that. So it's like being here in person. And so it's really cool. So go ahead and um, write all this information down, and I'm going to shuffle this deck because I can't wait. I can't wait to read with this deck. Oh my gosh. So excited. I just feel like this is just going to be such a good read. So selfishly, I'm doing it for Leo because I am a Leo. But I have a lot of Leos, actually, that um, watch uh, my channel. And so um, I just figured I've already done Scorpio. I've already done Libra. I just did Capricorn. Um, I did Taurus. So I was like, you know, so I'm going to do Leo. Okay. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the cards that are sticking up like I always do. Oh. 
Okay, it wants to give me both cards, so I'm not going to fight that. If it wants two cards, oh, see, I pulled that card up, so I'm not going to take that. I'll come back. If it falls back in the deck, I wasn't meant to grab it. Okay. Oh, see, it went back down. Now I'm going to save the bottom of the deck to come back to after. So now we have our cards that we just did. Now I'm going to bring in my um, numerology. So what I do is I basically build a really strong foundation. I start off with setting my, um, you know, setting my board up and the day and what day it is. Today is all about karma and getting like the numbers put together and whether I'm reading for, you know, whatever sign I'm reading for. Today is Leo. So Leo is five and it's a sun sign and the sun is 13 and it's a fire sign, which is two and three, which goes back to five. So Leo is kind of like one, two, three, four, five in a sense, but definitely five is Leo energy for sure. Okay. So we're starting off. So we start here, then we're going to build with numerology, then we're going to put in tarot, then we're going to add in oracle, we're going to check the bottom of the deck, we're going to bring in charms, so we're doing layer upon layer and building our foundation. Okay. Rebirth, the beginning of love. Remember, love is love. It could be romantic. It could be friendship. It could be parental. It could be child to parent. It could be best friends. Love. Love is love in whatever format it is for you. Self-love. Well, there you go. The beginning of love. Look. Look, 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 look. The beginning of love, love for yourself. See how when the one is behind, it's about you? It's about you, the self. The individual so this is the beginning and this is the self so beginning of love love yourself this is the beginning of you loving yourself okay Leo next we have 22 um, okay all right just okay so we're a hundred percent zoned in we are 100 percent connected that's how i know that's how i know that and i get chill chills can we see the goosebumps chill chills okay so we have la mort la mort death karma Ooh. Chill chills. I can't get rid of my chill chills. Um, karma and then three. So communication, collaboration, and uh, creativity. So um, the death card. The death card is transformation. Transforming one thing into another. We need to transform, okay, this love that we're giving out to everybody else into self-love. We need to use our intuition, Leos. We're very intuitive. We need to use that intuition to know that, um, you know, that this has to happen, okay? So we have a rebirth. So in order to have a rebirth, you have a death and a rebirth. Next, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Well, the Ten of Pentacles is amazing because, number one, it's a ten. Okay, we've got ten here and ten here. Okay, so the Ten of Pentacles is um, Pentacles is domestic, home, money, job, family. And it's like great fairy tale. Everything's wonderful. Everything is happy. Like everything is good. Next, we have, oh my gosh. Hello, Leo. You're right. Hi, Leo. Look, I'm doing a reading for Leo and who shows up? Leo. Strength. Strength. Karma for the individual. Karma for the individual. 11, individuality. Leo, strength. That's Leo all day, every day. Next, we have the Four of Wands. So the Four of Wands. This is awesome because this is like prosperity, adventure, um, the celebration. Yay, Leos. Okay, next, 
karma. Do you, uh, do you see, like, okay. <laughs> what did I say? Today's all about karma, karma, karma. And I had this feeling I should do this reading for Leo. And this is a brand new deck that was gifted to me, a Leo. And look at what we have. Leo shows up. Karma shows up. 22 shows up. Okay, do we get it? Do we get it? Do we get it? Karma, the Wheel of Fortune. Look at that. La Rue de Fortune. Or Fortune, but fort Fortune. La Rue de Fortune. I don't know what accent that is, but that's Wheel of Fortune. Okay, that's fine. I like this. Look at that. Karma, 10, 22. Leo, look at that. Oh, oh, amazing. Oh, here come the yawns. When the yawns come, energy's getting pulled. Pulling my energy. I haven't yawned all day. And here come the yawns. Ooh, strong deck. Okay, next we have the Eight of Cups. Again, five and three. Oh, no, not again. Sorry, that's not a five and three. <laughs> it's a ten and three. But five and three. So we have eight. Manifestation, two and eight. So there's our eight. Um, Eight of Cups. Mm -mm -mm. Well, having to walk away from something or feeling abandoned by something. Which one is it, Leo? Which one is it? I'm considering it saying rebirth and self-love. Somebody walked away or um, you had to walk away and it was for the best because it's about self-love and you knew what was the best for you. So this, uh, whatever this situation was, it had to end to begin anew. And you know what? It's for the best. And look, at it took so much strength. And now we have this four, this four of wands. Um, this prosperity. Um, this joint venture, you know, something here. So... You know, the thing of it is, is if you're not walking away from um, a person, you're walking away from a situation. So hold on. It might be a situation, not a person. Yeah. Okay. Let me look at the deck. So we have Cavalier des... Deniers. So we have the Knight of Pentacles or the Knight of Coins. The Knight of Pentacles. Taking action and strength. Okay, now we have the Eight of Wands. Taking action. Again, action, action, Jackson. Taking action. Look at that. The King of Cups. The Roy D. Coop, King of Cups. Mm. So the cup, the King is all about emotions, self love. Love is emotion. The King of Cups is like the top tier of that. And then we have the Three of Cups here. So we have the Three, the Three of Cups, a celebration of emotions. So we have a celebration. We have this 10, which is amazing, the Wheel of Fortune. So um, the strength and this taking action, self-love. Oh, and look at the world. Look at karma, karma. Double karma for the individual. Le monde, le monde, le monde. I don't know. The world. The world at your feet. The star. Look, Leo, the star karma and change and patience or we have 10 and 7 which is 17 which is the beginning of personal growth this one here 6 and 1 is 7 6 and 1 is 7 so there's that personal growth but also that's 8 which is manifestation and today's 2 and 8 2 and 8 so we have 2 5 and 2 um i'm sorry is 7 but 17 1 and 7 is 8 so we have the star Dreams coming true, making a wish, 
all things are possible. And then we have the valet de denier. So we have the page of coins or the page of pentacles bringing forth the message, bringing forth the message. Oh my gosh, amazing. Okay, that's as far as that goes. That stops there for sure. So, okay, let me move this so you can see the cards. So you can see what I'm seeing here. All right. Sorry, I forgot to look into the camera. I'm like looking down here. I don't look at myself. I don't, you know, but the camera to see what you're saying. I forget to look sometimes. Okay, so this is where we are. All right. So here we have rebirth, self-love. So we have um, the beginning of love of loving yourself and intuition. Okay. And then we have all this karma and all this Leo and all this action. And then we have these cups, this emotion coming in. Okay. So this is all like amazing and really good. If you are willing to change and stop loving everyone else, you know, not stop, but not just loving everyone else, but starting to love yourself, okay? And um, bring in this change and using the intuition, taking action, being strong and putting this all together like this is amazing. We have the star and the world and the 10 of of pentacles like a celebration adventure like it's just oh it's so good this is so good and then we have four um an eight and twelve and thirteen one and three is sun is the spirit okay one and three is the sun which is spirit and it's the beginning of communication it's also four three and one is four which is perseverance it's the year of perseverance 2020 so this is going on right now this is happening now and 22 today's 22 intuition okay that's all about today so this is a message you were meant to receive leo today and this is what it's saying so now we have um we have four eight uh 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16, 16, rebirth, the beginning of love, and also 6-1, love yourself, so it's a rebirth, this is all about rebirth, okay?